Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim. In the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, guys, as I already told you that I'm solving the past paper of AP Calculus 2018, and we already solved from question 1 to question 17, section 1 MCQ, right? Now we are going to solve question number 18, and the question number 18 is related to uh, integration, right? So the question is fx, if fx, if you have a function which is written zero with lower limit and upper limit this is zero this is x cube right the, the upper limit is a function right already uh, upper limit is a function it's a very interesting question and the, here it is given cos 2 t square dt means there is a ft a function which is form of t right so the function one function is here one function is here and the lower limit is zero it's given then you have to find f of derivative pi means you have to find the slope you have to find the slope of this function at pi at pi right so there are four options a b c d are given okay so i'm going to solve this question how okay so if you want to solve this question because this question is very important and you can find a lot of question based on that so i'm going to tell you a formula where you just put it and you can find the question easily right okay so the answer i'm going to solve okay so the answer i'm going to solve here okay so first of all, I want to tell you that if you have fx, for example, right? I'm going to tell you the formula first. And here is 0, for example. You can say here is a. a is a number, right? a is a number. And here is your fx. a is a number, right? And here is fx. Or you can say not fx because fx is already given. I can say just this is gx, right? It's not f, it's just g. Or any other function you can say. So if this is a, a is a number, right? And this is your gx, right? And here you have another function which is ft dt. Right, question? Again, here is your fx, means your functions. And this is given, here is a is a number, here is a gx, another. And ft dt, ft dt, right? This is a function in the terms of t. So this is equal to, you can say this is equal to, means we, we can just say, not here, we can say here, we can just find out f of prime x. The derivative we can find out. Very simple. We can find out the derivative. How? This is just a f. And here in place of t, just write down this gx. Very simple, right? Again, just write down this function because ft is given. Okay, just copy ft. And in the place of t, just write down what gx. So this one and the derivative of gx. This one. Very simple formula I'm going to tell you. And using this formula, I can solve it. Again, I can tell you, this is what a number and this is what gx a function, right? And here is another function is given. So we can just find out the derivative, right? Derivative of this function, which is equal to what? F and this gx, right? Then dt. Okay, I'm going to solve this question, my dear. And using this question, you will understand the whole concept, right? Okay. So if you see the question here, I'm going to write down the question. fx, which is given here, fx is equal to a 0 x cube and uh, this is cos t square and this is what dt right okay so here if you see i'm going to write down if you see what is the value of f very simple a is equal to zero comma if you say gx which is equal to what x cube if you say ft this is ft right you can say ft is equal to what cos of t square everything is okay any problem Okay, now the question I want f g x. So first of all, we, we need what f functions. And I have this function. But this function is term of our t, right? So I want to remove t and, and I'm going to put uh, g x in place of t, okay? So here you can see, this is f. And here in place of t, I'm going to write down g x, right? So this is what cos. And here also in place of t, I'm going to write down g x. It becomes whole square. Very simple, right? Okay, so this is f of gx, and here this is cos, and what is the value of gx, which is very simple, x cube, so just write down here x cube, and there is what, whole square, so we can say this is cos, and this is 3, 2, 6, very simple, right, we can say f gx, and uh, here if you have gx is equal to x cube, so what is the value of g of prime, x? what is the derivative of this function, which is 3x square, now I have everything, I'm going to use the formula here, right, I'm going to use the formula here, because I want 
f of prime x f of prime pi so first we need derivative so you can say here here i am going to say uh, the formula here i have written so this is f of prime x right f g x what is f g x cos x cube means cos and uh, x power 6 right and g of prime x which is what 3 x square is right down 3 x square this is the derivative now but i want the derivative at point what pi so here in place of x just write down what pi okay so here you can see f of prime pi equal to cos 6 x x is what pi right uh, sorry one minute oh my god one minute give me a time uh, i'm not sure this is pi or this is I'm sure this is under root pi. I'm sure this is not pi. This is under root pi, right? This is under root pi. This is f f prime under root pi. Okay. So here this is under root, and this is power what six, and this is three, and this is x is also uh, you can say. You can say this is what. Uh, x is equal to under root pi, and this is what whole square, right? Okay, so here you can say this is cos and under root pi can be written as 1 by q and this is 6, right? And this is also 3 pi, pi means pi, okay? So 2, 3, 6, so you can say the answer we got it is this is 3 pi, right? And this is what cos, because, and this is what 3, means cos pi q. Okay, so this is what f of prime under root pi. This is under root. This is under root pi. So the answer is 3 pi cos pi f of prime under root pi. So this answer is 3 pi cos pi cube, 3 pi cos pi cube, which is what? D. So answer D is correct and uh, still you have a problem you can just uh, send me a message or send me uh, something in the comment and whenever we have a time I will reply you. Take care. Bye bye. Assalamu alaikum.